Think you know Zudex? Think again. Today, we're flooding the board with small cost cards, but without a usual suspect. Let's shake up the meta with this unexpected twist. That unexpected card? Blue Marvel is nowhere to be seen in this version. Instead, we have Kazar, who can buff up our one cost cards, along with Marvel Boy. And those one cost cards include Iceman for disruption, Nico for her flexibility, Squirrel Girl for all the squirrels, Martyr just for power and she in all likelihood won't be able to move because we flooded the board, and Echo for a little bit of tech. We have more tech in Goose where you can get a lot of power into that lane and your opponent won't be able to. There is also armor because this deck can be weak to destroy and Killmonger especially, so we have armor to fight back and also protect. Shauna gives us a bunch of one cost cards that can be buffed by Marvel Boy and Kazar. And also Discount Mockingbird, who can fit into a Goose Lane or is just good power on her own. The deck rounds out with Gilgamesh, who is another big statted card and can help you win a lane all on his own. Okay, first up we have Cascade. Because Nico has her destroy spell, I definitely want to get that down. They have eight cards in their deck on turn one, so they are a normal deck. No Agatha, Erisham, or Thanos. Get the Iceman down for the draw two and the disruption. And we get Echo and Goose. So I think I play Goose middle. Gwynpool is interesting. Uh, I think I play Marvel Boy middle, actually. And then I can play Shauna. Okay, get rid of my free card. That is fine. Or do I pivot? I think I pivot. Let's go Goose. They can get Stature Middle, though, is now the problem. Oh, this is awkward. Let's go Shauna over here. And I guess Scroll Girl Middle to stop the Nebula from buffing. Martyr, that's okay. Mockingbird won't be discounted enough. So let's go Kazar and Echo. Hobgoblin, what deck am I playing? <laughs> what in the world? And there's Gilgamesh. What do they play for? This is kind of a gut call, so I could just go with the Gilgamesh. Who is buffed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I could do that. I have 7 points left. Maybe 8. I think I go Gilgamesh middle. I could go Mockingbird and Armor. Because this is a funky deck. But I will go Gilgamesh instead. They did abandon left. Well, let's see if I'm going to eat it to a Sean. I did not eat it to a Sean. There we go. So this was always going to be somewhat of a gut call. I knew I had at least 7 power here. Marvel Boy bumped it up to 8. Victory. I forgot about the additional card with Shauna. I'm not used to playing her. And they really had to make a decision because Hobgoblin did not win the right lane for them. Is this a lower collection player? Lower collection player. And they still almost got me. So this is fantastic evidence that you can win with a lower collection. This 
the lines they had were very competitive. And thankfully we were able to come out on top. Okay, next up we have Birdneck. We do have a decent combo in our hand with Marvel Boy, Squirrel Girl, and Mockingbird. Let me get down Squirrel Girl and Nico. I will get Nico down middle. If for some reason the middle is a buff lane and I skip, I can increase Nico's gain. Seven cards in deck. They are an Agatha deck and they will have the Ebony Blade. So drawing into Goose is pretty vital. Oh, maze. Do I get down Echo now? The middle was a buff lane, but sadly I would have had to hold Nico and her spell would have changed. I will hold on to Echo for now. I will get Marvel Boy down here. I will probably play Kazar middle and hope that slides. They almost definitely play their Ebony Blade middle. So if I draw into Goose, I would have played him left. <laughs> but it, it when I record, the game does not cooperate because I, I'm pretty sure I called it. I called it. And then they wouldn't have been able to play their Ghost Rider and it would have kind of been a wrap. That said, I still might be able to pull this out. So let's see if I can make magic happen. I'm abandoning left. And I... Is that smart? I could run the math. And then I would snap if I actually ran math. So let's see if I can have time to run the math. Ghost Rider is four points now. Ebony Blade, 18, 28. One, two, three, four, five. I can, I might be able to split the difference. Okay, did, did math fail me? Or did I fail myself? <laughs> That is the question. I'm splitting it this way because I don't know if they have any small cost I'm cards. And I knew they were going to play Ghost Rider there. So all I do is have to slam Gilgamesh left. There is Goose. Do I think they can beat... 8? Right. I don't... I don't think they can. And they might need to beat 9? So just a Gilgamesh middle, and I still might even tie... So, this is why you run math. <laughs> because, as you see, I was going to play differently. I was going to abandon left. But once I run the math, I realize, okay, clearly they can't play Ghost Rider right. Why in the world would they play him mid? Because they already have the Ebony Blade there. So you can calculate... 28 points. Fantastic. So all I need is Mockingbird and Gilgamesh. Bam. And I easily surpass that. So that is why I ran the math. I knew their play line. I knew their deck. I'm pretty sure they can't get into the big house, especially with the cards they played. So by running the math, we played perfectly and we snapped perfectly and got two cubes instead of one. Okay, next up, we are against Band, a much higher collection level player. Regular deck, or is it a regular deck? Eight cards in deck? So it's an Agatha deck. So let's try to disrupt them with Iceman. And we're almost definitely going to play Shauna because of Mockingbird. So I will play Martyr here. 
I will need more points over there in all likelihood. Cloning Vats. Shauna here. Cloning Vats is deadly for me, though. But for them. Because of... Oh, I was thinking they had Black Knight on the board, but they do not. So that's okay. Uh, do I get Mockingbird down now? I think I do. How can I discount her more, though? Or maybe I wait a turn? Mockingbird and Kitty. Let's plug up left in case of any disruption. Okay, Mockingbird's probably just going to stay at for you. that amount, unfortunately. There's Gilgamesh. So I need to get Kazar down. Kazar and Kitty. And I'm almost definitely going to challenge middle with Gilgamesh. One, two, three, four, five? Gets up to 14. So that ties the Agatha. And then play also play Kitty Middle. I'm curious to see what they pull out. Okay, so they have another Black Bolt and a Stature. But I'm also winning right. How many points do I need middle if I don't play Gilgamesh there? And maybe I abandon left. And if Martyr moves, that's okay? Because she would just win me another lane? Kitty Gilgamesh? One, two, three, four, and then the kitty is down. Five. So that does get up to 14. So that's 17. Seven, 21. 28. Oh man, can they outright beat me? Right? Man, if I had played for left. If I had played for left with any card, even Kitty. Man, that's a tough break. That is a tough break. So this deck can hang with other competitive decks, as you can see. This was just a call on going hard middle, not thinking about what was in their deck, Agatha decks run Legion. And just thinking through, okay, if they play a Legion, I, I called out the stature. But that's rough, because even Kitty left wins left. And then the monster comes mid, so Martyr can't move anyway. Or even if I play Gilgamesh left, that just wins the outer two. Man, that's a rough break. Okay, but we, we you take those losses sometimes and you keep it moving. Alrighty, next up we have G. Icebox, what a wonderful location. Let's give them another icebox. Fantastic. This just a bugle swarm. So they'll be able to get into the goose lane. I will goose over here anyway. Okay. Echo would have come in handy, but unfortunately, she did not want to participate. And this is going to get awkward with the Raptors. Uh, I could play Nico into Mockingbird. 
to slide her over? What are you doing over here? Wrong guy, okay. There is Nico, right on time. <laughs> Mockingbird here. This is definitely a retreat. Because I don't think I can stop their Modoc. And I have none of my buff cards. I will get my power middle. I don't think this deck has any additional ongoing cards. So I don't know if it serves me any good to play. To play them. I got my goose. And that's not gonna hit, hit their Modoc. That's hilarious. I think I see it out because it hit their Modoc. Can they get enough cards out of their hand? Like two cards out of their hand. But none of my cards are buffed. I mean, this just gives me the most amount of power. What is this? Plus six? Do I play hard for this instead? Uh, I'll stay in for one additional cube. Oh, okay. What's this discard? Oh! Oh, that's... Call an ambulance! But not for me! Wait a second. Because they lost the strong guy buff. What a roller coaster. <laughs> so, why did I play this way? At the did I switch at the last second? I might have switched at the last second. A lot of people, I'm guessing this is a high ranked player, high collection level player it is. So they have experience. Experienced players know that people give up on the Dracula lane. They know it. Uh, just all abandon the Dracula lane because the Dracula is going to have 20 power. I can't compete with that. But the second I saw them lose that Modoc, if they have, they could have had Apocalypse in hand. So ultimately, sure, this was kind of an iffy stay. But again, the reason why I stayed was because of one cube, one additional cube. I figured I was going to lose the strong guy lane, but with Gilgamesh middle, I could really compete for middle. Even though well, I only got plus one, yikes, from the meek. <laughs> so, so we went hard middle, and with the blade, they were able to overcome the, the point, point total I had. But because they thought I would abandon the Dracula lane, they thought they could get away with four points over there. And they couldn't. So that is why ultimately I played this last turn exactly how I did. And we got out of here with two cubes. Thank you for watching this far into the video. It really helps the channel. And thank you to all my members. They also help the channel. This deck is a slightly, ever so slightly different take on Zoo. I have omitted Blue Marvel. I have Goose in here. And I'm really relying on Kazar and Marvel Boy to buff my cards and allow Gilgamesh to grow. This deck was born out of a comment on one of my videos asking for my take. Maybe not exactly that. I'll have it on the screen. But my take of a Zoo deck. And Zoo isn't that interesting to me. So I tried to change it a little bit to my liking under the constraints that the person has in this comment. And this is what I ended up on. There's a little bit of disruption, there's a little bit of counter, and there's a little bit of power, and just being able to spread as well, uh, at least enough power across all lanes. I don't know which games I included yet, but there were some weird wins in there. There were definitely some losses. This is not some top-ranked powerful deck that will win everything you want to. That said, it can be competitive. 
As of this recording, I am in the top 5,000, so I am playing very good players. So if you are far below that, or if you are outside of Infinite, you can have success with this deck. It can fight back against Destroy, which is a natural weakness, and it can also put just a good amount of power across all lanes, and you also have Goose to kind of control where your opponent can play. That said, at the time of this recording, War Machine is a real card, so Goose, Goose's effectiveness in those matchups, of course, are lessened. But overall, this deck can be used to climb and it can be used to win games. They haven't snapped, so is this Killmonger? Am I playing a bot? <laughs> I am playing a level collection 849 level player. Fantastic. I think it's challenging left. But now Martyr can move all over the place. Shauna. Martyr. And Nico. This just feels bad. I, I beat up on a level 800 collection player. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Enough said, Bob. Did I even win? <laughs> yes, I did.